Hello and welcome, my name is Kevin, this is Do It For Bruce, we're here in Crusader Kings 3 with you all for another time lapse. Today we will be in the land of Westeros. Finally, at long last, the a Game of Thrones mod has finally dropped and now we get to play as our favorite Westerosi dickheads. It's 284 and Robert Baratheon has taken the throne. Uh, it looks like the Seven Kingdoms are united once more uh, under his domination uh so far you know it looks pretty cool we got some interesting obviously character models for all of our uh lovely characters in the show and books um there seems to be a situation in the north where we have a struggle beyond the wall uh iberian kind of struggle mechanic going on there which is cool uh we've got many faiths which uh you love to see drown god included um Got some the seven, the old gods, the old gods beyond the wall. Uh, Essos is in holding right now. I think they were going to develop it sooner rather than later. We also, it looks like we have the mountain clans in existence. So it's an interesting, interesting situation all around here in Westeros. So let us get to some predictions. First and foremost, my first prediction is that uh, I think the Baratheons are going to hold on to the throne. Unless something drastic happens, I don't see them... Uh, losing power, especially with sitting at 70,000 troops right off the bat. Let's look at like the north. They only have about 14. Breach has 23. Dorn 15. So it's like, even if one of these, uh, one of their vassals wanted to rebel, they don't really have the opportunity to do so just because it's not, uh, they're just too weak. Also, I think everybody will switch to the Faith of the Seventh just because there is uh, a majority of that. Uh, unless the Starks have some sort of vassal right. Okay, uh, but they don't have religious protection. For whatever reason, they are not accepting of that. And finally, obviously the most spoken language will be probably uh, the common tongue. So with that out of the way, let us begin and see how the future unrolls within this mod. All right, I'll see you in a bit.
already here. It is uh, about 270 years in the future and the Seven Kingdoms are still united. Uh, the lands beyond the wall are still uh, fighting for their right to party and looks like some mountain clansmen are still thriving. Uh, with that, let us talk about faith at, right from the get-go. It looks like the faith of the Seven still here. We got the old god still here. It looks like not a lot of faith has changed. Um, looks like well, the drowned god is uh, still here, but people don't celebrate him as much as he used to. Um, same with the Lady of the Waves. Interesting, interesting, interesting faiths. So faiths seem really cool. Uh, here in Essos, still blank. Not sure what they've been up to, but you know, still keeping it blank. Culture-wise, it's been switched up a little bit more. Um, I haven't really had time to look into the different cultures and seeing if they added anything new. It looks like they haven't. They're just using the original um, culture stuff, which is interesting. Uh, I hope in future, as the future goes on, they add in some traditions that are more Westerosi or just Game of thrones -y in general. Uh, as for the kingdom itself, it is run by a Stark, a North woman, uh, big old thickness it looks like the iron throne has been uh okay so we left off where with our big boy robert he had several kids um they also uh had a son a couple more kids just baratheon after baratheon after baratheon it seems like and then a stark inherited it because they the as usual uh one of their line married into the a Stark family. Uh, during the time lapse itself, it looked like there wasn't a lot of like unrest. Like I said, I think just the fact that the emperors are just too fat, too powerful for their vassals to do anything about it. Though they are themselves very powerful, you need to make a pretty strong coalition to fight off the king um, of uh, the Iron Throne on the Iron Throne. So it's interesting. Also, just not a lot of expansion within the other t terrains. It looks like everybody, there are some like, oh, there's some Vale in the Dorn, Dornish region, and there's some Riverlands down here and some in the Reach. But like for the most part, everybody stayed pretty solidly within their allotted uh, kingdoms, if, it, if you know what I mean. There is a way for you to uh, take over the wall, uh, which is interesting or unite the wildlings beyond the wall and then come and take the wall itself, which is really cool. So let's look at government. Uh, it looks like for the most part, everything is either uh, feudal, there's some tribal, uh, there's the Knights, Repub Knights Watch, which has a Republic in it. Um, Mole Town, of course, love to see it. And then tribal beyond the wall, lovely, lovely stuff. Um, but so far so good i'm really enjoying this uh mod i can't wait to dive into it more deeply it's going to be interesting playing as in this just because there is no ace so there's no way to expand out there so it's all concentrated in the westeros uh you trying to fight a king who or an emperor i guess in this situation who has so much power is going to be an interesting thing unless you are in control it's going to be um difficult i imagine you're gonna have to do a lot of plotting a lot of killing a lot of alliance building maybe getting hooks and stuff like that um but it should be pretty fun as for let's just look around and see if the all the people who stayed in power yeah so it looks like all the people who run these different areas of um Westeros seem to their families seem to stay in power. I think that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like to support us, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, have a good rest of your day. Ciao!